Hey guys, what to do with the D Stop Boy D and we've got a little bit of um <coughs> update from Brad Garlinghouse. Um says Bitcoin tribalism is holding the crypto industry back, Ripple CEO says. I'm gonna get now I love my Cardano, but it's not just Cardano out there. I'm very big on XRP as well. And I'm gonna start breaking down um and looking into this case much more. So we'll have a look what um he's got to say. So tribalism around Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are holding back the entire two trillion market. Uh, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has said, I own Bitcoin, I own Ether, I own some others, Garlinghouse said. I am an absolute believer that this industry is going to continue to thrive. Me too. But it says that Bitcoin maximalism has, has meant the crypto industry has fractured representation in Washington and DC, according to Garlinghouse. So let's get into this. So tribalism. Um, around Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies holding back the entire tr two trillion market, according to the boss of blockchain firm Ripple. Polarization isn't healthy in my judgment, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said in a CNBC hosted fireside chat at Paris Blockchain Week Summit, Week Summit last week. I own Bitcoin, I own Ether, I own some others. I am an absolute believer that the industry is going to continue to thrive. All boats can ride, Garlinghouse added. Gardinghouse, a former Yahoo executive, compared the crypto industry today to the dot-com era of the late 90s and early 2000s. Yahoo could be successful and so could eBay. They're solving different problems, he said. There's different use cases and different audiences and different markets that I think a lot of those parallels exist today. And I do believe that's true. Like, like Ethereum is something completely different to Ripple. <laughs> like we know, you know, ripples for cross-border payments. You know, that's not something that Ethereum's going to handle. You know, if you don't want to, if you don't like paying high gas fees, then why are you going to use Ethereum? That's why I stay away from it at the moment. Um, because the gas fees just ridiculous. But to send payments into, in, you know, like, like the value in Ripple, in my opinion, to send payments and for it to act as that transacting, that the payment for that transaction, it's going to make it settle quick, like seconds. That's that's so valuable and needed in today's, today's society, in my opinion. So there are now tens of thousands of cryptocurrency circulation worth a combined two trillion, according to CoinGecko. That's nothing. Like, uh, like that, this is how early we are, in my opinion, because Apple on its own is worth three trillion, or around about that for the last time I looked. So some digital coins have attracted quite a dedicated following, not at least Bitcoin, whose hardware advocates are often referred to as maximalists. Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey and MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor are among the so-called maximists who support only Bitcoin and not other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin's dead. I, I think it's whack. Um, Garden House said such maximists have earned and meant the crypto industry has fractured representation when it comes to lobbying US lawmakers. Last month, President Joe Biden signed an executive order calling the government to examine the risks and benefits of cryptocurrencies. So basically how they can profit off it and we can't. So the lack of coordination in Washington, D.C. among the crypto industry, I find to be shocking, he said. I do as well. How can somewhere as big as America be last on the bandwagon? Uh, Ripple is often linked with XRP, a cryptocurrency the company uses for cross-border payments. The company owns the majority of the 100 billion XRP tokens in circulation, which it periodically releases from an escrow account to keep prices stable. Ripple is caught with securities and exchange commission Sorry, Ripple is in court with the Security and Exchange Commission over allegations that it illegally sold over one billion worth of XRP in an unregistered securities offering. Now, the, company's, the company argues XRP should be considered a virtual currency, not a security, which it is. Um, so, what do you guys think on that one? I'm interested to hear what you guys think in regards to what Brad Gardner has said. Um, is, is Bitcoin tribalism holding the crypto industry back? You know, very well could be. Um, it's very interesting to see Brad Garland House say that. I agree. I think that, you know, the more we look towards just pushing and fighting around with Bitcoin, the, the longer it's going to take for the old industry to grow. Like the first of anything never stays around. And Bitcoin was the first. We've just seen on CNBC, where one of their reporters went to El Salvador, tried to use the network. Had failed transaction, went zero and two. You know, Bitcoin is trash in my opinion. Um, I'm a lot more bullish on Solana, Cardano, XRP. Um, 
Ethereum, which can sort out the gas fees, Polygon. Like, I'm a lot more bullish on other coins than Bitcoin. And I can't wait for this Bitcoin to get toppled and for something else to sit on top. Um, because it's just, it's just crap. Like, it's just, it's just a store of value. What can you do with it? What does it do? It doesn't really do anything. Just a store of value, which is pretty pointless. Um, so yeah, so that's, um, just a little update for today. If you've been looking into XRP, you know you, you know where we are. The SEC have just had three wins in the court case. Um, three minor wins. You know, I think we're going to win overall. And I'm just stacking my XRP up um, in regards to that. So, yeah, just a little update for you in regards to something that Brad Garlinas has said. Blockchain finance of value. Stop, boy, D. Like and subscribe. And peace.